Hey, what I'm going to do right now is uh, I'm going to do a little example. I want to be really sure that people using my tool are aware that you can do this. Um, everybody probably already knows, but this is I'm going I'm to try to redo basically the same video that I did when my program was first written, like five or six years ago. Uh, we're going to try to do it a lot faster. So generally, the concept is suppose you want to take this a model like this cinematic Iliad. Now a lot of people have like um, models from other games or something and they're trying to put them into Warcraft 3 and they want to take a character like this and they want to animate it. Now you look at this character, he only has the stand animation. He has There's no animations and if I go in here to the list of nodes there's like one node at the center of the model and the whole model has no animations, no rigging and just this one single node. And the question becomes how can you rig this thing to move? And so I know some people, I guess they'd use other programs but at some point I did add this bone button so we should be able to basically just go through here and essentially click to actually place the bones for each of these different things like the feet and the hands um, and the legs and get to a point then where you could actually animate this guy maybe like the head and then uh, after that we could do the wings so one of the main issues then becomes um, when you're here, can we also, uh, can we do this right so that it looks good? So at some point I made control W as a tool to actually link these, so you should be able to just uh, basically link it all up. And we'll see if I miss anything. Uh, but yeah, you should basically pretty much be able to just select it all and hit control W, uh, and that should pretty much let it just link right up. Uh, so we can do that, we'll make sure that's linked. And then up here, obviously at some point there's going to be a cutoff where we're just going to want everything to link back to his main body. Um, but we could probably link all that. In fact, let's do the body first. So let's, uh, this, this is still his center bone, right? So anything I don't click on should be linked to his body. So that should, actually that should be fine. So we link all this. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, we link all this to that one. And then next what we want to do is link all of this right here. Uh, but I guess that's already done because it's already on his body. So if it, if it was really nice, maybe there'd be a way to hide his wings. Oh, there is. Okay, great. So then we can go here to the hand and basically like, let's actually, let's, let's start out or like select the, the largest amount first and then move progressively inward, right? By doing this, um, and control W I think only works when you have one bone selected. So we stick them all to that and then we'll get rid of some of this, most of this here and then we'll link all this to this node right there. Actually no, I'm wrong. Control W works when you have multiple selected. That, that's, that should be true. Uh, we deselect some of this stuff and basically just animate the hand on that last hand bone right there. Um, this should give us the ability for all these bones that, well okay, actually Let's select everything except some of these other bones. Um, my thought process is that if I use the auto centering of bones, auto centering of bones, that these bones will just jump to an automatically somewhat valid location. Um, now we can see this is probably not going to be good because it's attached in something different on one side versus the other side, but uh, hopefully it'll be decent. And you can put that there, and then uh, definitely we want to have his head all linked up to head up there. And that, uh, it's maybe a little bit hard to see where we're going, but we'll just control W that guy. And then we should be able to get this right arm here. Um, so you just do that. Uh, we'll link that to there, although actually we probably want to just link it to this one node. Because uh, then you can get rid of all this stuff and then link the lower arm to this node and then get rid of this stuff and then link the bottom it's the other one I got rid of some of this didn't I yes then you just link the bottom to that and that should allow us to then go to these and does auto center yeah auto center will just work you just write like that so um, for starters you want to do something like that Let's see if I auto center the head does it, yeah it goes to the center of the head so the next thing, of course, is you want to be naming these, um, which is pretty important. Bonehead, 
I guess sometimes these characters have a separation between the root and the pelvis, don't they? So we could add also like a chest, a pelvis, and then like a root thing. And that should give us the ability to then make this thing uh, position type in zero, 0, so it's in the very center. And then we're going to name it bone root. And then this is going to be bone chest. And this is going to be bone pelvis. And then the key is going to be to make some of these actually line up how you'd expect. So like all this stuff is going to hook pelvis. Uh, and this should be pretty good. Let's see. Yeah, so we just get all that. Uh, and then we'll just control W it to pelvis. Chest should already be linked. And then the other key is you want to have the pelvis linked to root and chest um, linked to root, probably. And then head needs to link to chest. Uh, oh, chest. And then we need to start naming the arms. Um, arm 1 L, something like that. Arm 2L. Uh, hand L. And then, of course, we need to set up that hierarchy. Um, so just set parent to arm 2L. I don't really like that I lowercase that L. So let's make sure it's arm 2 capital L. It looks better that way. And then we can. Oh, I auto-centered it again. It wasn't what I meant to do. Uh, arm 1, L. And then we should probably auto-center this thing. There we go. And then this. Uh, oh, let's cancel that. I was actually thinking we want to set his parent to chest. And we can rename this guy arm 1, R. Parent it to bone chest. Rename this guy arm 2 R. Parent it to arm 1 R. And this guy hand R. Arm 2 R. Leg 1 L. Set parent to pelvis. Oh, sorry, rename like two L. Set parent to like one L. Foot L. Parent to like two L. Put R, and then we can set parent to. I didn't name leg R, R to R yet. Oh, sorry. I want to set the parent of this to leg to R, and then this we rename leg one R. Uh, we set the parent of that to pelvis. And we set the parent of this guy to leg to leg one R. Great. And then I think if I use the uh, optimize sort nodes, maybe that'll mean that if you bring up, bring up this menu, it's kind of actually sorted, hopefully. So then what you should be able to do, assuming I did it right, is that you should be able to say, and similar to my other video from long, long ago, that you could say, okay, now that I did that, let's give him like Eridar animations or something like that. Um, and you bring in the Eridar animations. And uh, you can just clear pre existing animations, motion from all on these nodes, and then see uh, we have arm one, hand, head. Uh, and maybe you could like keep something, like if you want the hero glow, that could be kind of cool. 
So yeah, maybe we'll keep keep the hero glow there. Uh, and it looks like that's still rigged. Uh, and then all these things could be... I guess this really should have an automated solution. It doesn't uh, for relinking these. But let's see. Weapon, hand R, uh, hand right, hand left, head, chest, origin, particle smoke. Okay, I guess we need dummy O2, don't we? Import the dummies, and I think yeah, dummy two and three don't appear to have any parents. So uh, both of these, uh, I guess we gotta click them individually. Dummy two, dummy three, dummy two, dummy two. These have no parenting information. Great. So you do all that, uh, and you make sure that your visibility is gonna draw from something reasonable, and then you click finish. And this should give our guy. Um, it should give our guy animations. So as you see, it looks like I missed a point or something like that, but primarily um, you start to give your guy the ability to have Eridar animations to some extent. Obviously you could do this better uh, than I did, but you know, something like that. Yeah, that leg is really messed up. I don't know what's going on with that leg there. That's interesting. Um, yeah, so if I turn off all the nodes, and the other thing that's fun is that if you do like spell slam, he's got all those particles from the Eridar, right? He's even got like the Eridar particles. Although it does kind of look like the uh, the position of the nodes is not quite right. So that's a little bit interesting. Um, yeah, that's interesting. Meanwhile, the perspective view is broken down because I'm using version 0.04, which is broken. But, uh, yeah, it seems like the rigging is not great. So you could do a better job than that. Uh, but this is kind of like the concept, right, is you can go in there and you can rig this thing and try to get it to link up however you want. So, yeah, there you go. That's an example of how you can do rigging if you wanted to do that in my program. There are ways.